Hey, Deb McCrinelli, thanks for making time to talk to us. We're here in Shannon's Gym in Manchester because uh, you're fighting on uh, the 14th uh, of March in the undercon of the Barrera, you know, Khan fight. Um, but, you know, Enzo, I asked you the same question about how do you stay motivated. It's just never quite working for you at the minute. The fights fall through, everything you need doesn't quite come off. But how has it been, you know, just staying focused? It's, it's something I've got to put up with, Con. You, you know, it, it's happened. I suppose I fought Ramirez uh, on Saturday night. Uh, the full WBO champion, Ramirez, have said that he needed more time. Um, so they offered me, I think they offered me Dean Francis, which I'm going too keen on, considering he's a, uh, you know, blown up like every. Take nothing away from him, but you know, I just thought he was a blown up like every, and I went there a bit of more respect. So they come up with a guy, um, Ola Ofalabi, um, who's, you know, record doesn't look that impressed, so I'll be totally honest, but, you know, I see. I seen a couple of fights in him yesterday, and he's very open. He's very good, uh, and thoroughly deserving of his. Um, I think that rank number four. I was going to say, I mean, let's talk about Afolabi because I've have looked at him and uh, looked at his record. Born in London, you know, not a stranger to these shores, and uh, over in California at the moment, and recently working in the sort of Freddie Roach camp. I mean, that alone has got to give him some type of skills which can make him dangerous. Yeah, of course. I think his danger comes from the skills he's already got. Um, I don't think anyone has made him have these skills. You know, he's just one of them sort of fighters. He's very loose with his hands. Uh, he's got good footwork. He, he's very awkward. Um, reminds me of um, a smaller version of a James Tony, yeah. you know, the way he tries to roll and uh, things like that. So, uh, but you know, I, I, I don't really care who's in front of me at the moment, Con. I just, you know, I just fit and strong and just ready to go. You know, considering the sort of recent setbacks you've had and uh, the way the fights haven't been coming through, it's possible, Enzo, that just slightly you could just take your eye off the ball. You could get in that ring and take things a little granted just for a little bit. Trust me, it's not going to happen. Do you know what I mean? I, uh, I, just, I just wanted to fight for a belt for a long time. Uh, you know, I fight for a belt Saturday night, albeit the interim belt, but it puts me that one step closer. Um, and I'm, a, I'm as hungry as ever for it. It is for the interim belt, and as you say, it, it's one step closer. But when you get into that ring, is it the interim belt? Is it that sort of thing that keeps you focused and keeps you ready? Or is it just the quest to be the best you can be? It's the quest to be the best I can be. You know, before I boxed David Hay, I had a dream to unify the division. Didn't happen that night. You know, my dream's still the same. Uh, luckily enough, in, in the year that's gone by, past, um, Thomas Adamek has uh, rightfully claimed his spot as number one. Um, so he gives me something to aim for, and you know that that is the fight that I want. You know, me and Thomas Adam out, two boys who like taking backward steps, going to hit in the centre of the ring. You know, what, what a fight for the fans! How's training been? Because I know that you've changed a few things, you know, in your training schedule, <clears throat> in the way that you've prepared. How has it been and helped you stay motivated? Uh, it's been great. You know, it's something different. You know, um, I, I obviously I do con conditioning work, we call it. You know, you know I, I've tried the weights um, things before, you know, the bench press, squats, uh, deadlifts. It just, just didn't appeal to me. You know, I found myself getting bored with it. And you know, I, was, I was coming up to the gym, I got a bead of sweat on me. And to me, uh, to me, that's not working out. But, you know, it did, it did improve my muscle mass to the extent where I didn't have so much fluidity in my shots and you know obviously I like to throw combos um, and I just couldn't do it I think uh, the, the, the last time I'd really done a weight session was the first Mark Robson fight uh, where he you know where he took me to hell on back um, you know I just couldn't get more than two or three punches off at a time uh, so you know I, I spoke to a friend of mine Chris a personal trainer uh, he, he came up with a, a conditioning workout which uh, mimics the way my body moves in the fight, you know, the way I use my legs, the way I use my hands, the yeah. way I use my body, my lats. Um, and it's almost like a 12, 12 3 circuit, 12 rounds, 3 minute rounds of just constant pain. Uh, it was brilliant. With uh, Afalobi specifically, what do you know about him as a fighter? Um, I hear that he could be uh, susceptible to the odd body shot. Uh, you know, some, yeah, that's, that's a, a rumour I have here, but may, maybe they throw that one out there hoping yeah. I'm going to go for a body shot. But, um, do you know what I mean? I, I watched, uh, watched the tape of his last fight, yes, it was the only one I basically was able to get. Um, you know, they, they raved about him because he beat that Eric Fields and upcoming prospect. But again, I, I, I wasn't too impressed with Eric Fields. Um, but, you know, he is good, he is dangerous, and uh, you know, I'll show him plenty of respect. On the night, uh, well, especially after the fight's finished, anyway, because <laughs> when we didn't, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just, I just want my belt back, and I'm going I'm to walk through hell to get it. And so, thank you very much. Thanks.